Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray for the body of Christ, I pray for the bride, I pray for myself and my family, all of our families, our babies, our children. I pray this day for our families who are distraught over their family members that are unawakened. As we all at one point or another, especially the bride has been already, or maybe one of you that's listening to this, you have approached your family member, you have felt as if you have been, you've been awakened for a while, whether it's one week, a day, or, you know, 10 years, a year, especially some of us who are unevenly yoked in marriages that are possibly unevenly yoked. No, please don't think you need to get a divorce, Yeshua, because that is the true name of our one and only Messiah, Christ Jesus of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, Christ Jesus of Nazareth, is our, the Prince of Peace, whom we praise and worship. He is our Lord and Savior, whom we bow down to, whom we worship, to whom we should repent to daily, as we all came to Christ through the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth or just Jesus assuming that Jesus means our Messiah correct but please take a notice what does the Bible says including of course the word is Christ Jesus of Nazareth or Yahshua have you when was the last time have you asked our father Father, tell us, please, what is your name? How do you want me to call you? What do you want me to call you by? And above all, please tell me, what is the name of thy son? How should I call him? When he was here, he was acting on behalf of your name before his name had that powerful anointing, correct? So think about it, brothers and sisters. What was his name? Because in accordance to Songs of Solomon, right, I believe, in the first... Forgive me for my slowness as I'm operating between three different Bibles as I have been comparing. I've been only awakened for about a year and a half. My name is Anna from Philadelphia. Um, I was told I'm a church of Philadelphia uh, by my last name. My last name means tribe of Simeon. So ironically, I'm Anna of a tribe of Simeon. I was happily pleased to find to to discover that through the Holy Spirit as I have been saved not too long ago, yet struggling with many types of problems from anything from depression to addiction to addictive compulsive uh, addictions such as shopping, which is still an addiction, other demonic compulsive behaviors like cigarette smoking, because that's all demonic. When you smoke cigarettes, you understand you support demon called Baal, correct? You know that, right? You must do your best to quit cigarette smoking. If you have been awakened for a while and you consider yourself being the bride, remember there's wise virgins and there's silly virgins. Father called me silly once, our most high God. And at that time I thought he was because I was joking a lot, cracking a lot of jokes. I was I'm fighting wicked spiritual warfare as many of you to you that's maybe I hope that it will never come. But I'm not, I'm not underestimating some of us, my beloved brothers and sisters, please understand I know you're not alone. You have been fighting wicked spiritual warfare. And I do understand. And I discuss this with Yeshua all the time. Yahshua is the name of Christ Jesus of Nazareth. This is when you fight spiritual warfare and after you bind the strong men, hold men in the chains of feathers, fetters of the blood of Yahshua HaMashiach. And you were saying the word Jesus 
that's why it took you so many hours of fighting before that de demon devil even leaves Matthew 17 18 speaks clearly when Yeshua binded rebuked the devil the child the child was healed that very hour right and the devil fled from the child for it is written the scripture in the New Testament father father Yeshua Christ Jesus of Nazareth says and he is the word the true living word of God and God also he's not God he's Yah Yahuwah Yahuwah okay because God believe me brothers and sisters you've been awakened for a while then by now you should know that the God Almighty would not give himself a title G-O-D while the fallen angels are calling themselves G-O-D-S you know gods who calls himself a god within a Masonic organization you have a G right it's for God but not for our God it is for their God their God is Shatan Satan our enemy the one who's been prosecuting you illegal, the one who has been assaulting you, the one who has got you addicted, the one who makes you feel depressed, the one who prosecutes you day and night. So when you say the name of Jesus, you are in fact, and you might not like what you're hearing, but I'll prove to you that I'm telling you the truth, as the name of Jesus, you are invoking Zeus. However, because we've been saved on the name of Jesus, it is only that oh, because of our Father's mercy that He has honored that for a specific time. And then you notice that the more you find spiritual warfare under that name and the more Bible you read, he, the longer you know Him, He, you as the bride. When you think about the first time you were dating someone, didn't you ask that person a name even before you went out on a date? Their name, their phone number, their last name, about their mom, father family brothers sisters whoever whatever so why wouldn't you do the same about knowing your beloved husband to be yashua christ jesus of nazareth so at least please do me please pray as you all must of course get used to testing all spirits of all your brothers and sisters I decree and declare by the power of the blood of Yahshua HaMashiach, I speak the truth through the Holy Ghost and always of Yahuwah. In the name of our Lord Yahshua HaMashiach, I am the head and not the tail, and I speak from my soul, from my heart. However, the Bible, the Word, speaks in the New Testament that from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So we must express extreme caution how we speak about one another and others and how we react to other people's information especially those people who have maybe been approaching you multitude of times the way you've been approaching maybe your loved one multitude of times about coming being saved coming to jesus coming to you know saving their soul right and they i don't want to hear it i don't want to know it if Think about this, if but for a moment, and please test the spirits, everything I'm telling you, pray on it, and say, if this girl is in fact is right, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, Father, Yahuwah, God Almighty, whatever you call him, you should, you know, he's not going to name himself, he didn't name himself something that spells backwards, D-O-G, dog, right? He's the Father God Almighty. He's the one and only Alpha and Omega. He loves you. He's in charge of every single molecule in you, around you, on you. And he is in full control, even when it seems like it isn't. And, and believe me, I know how heavily some of you are so prosecuted. I see it in spirit. It is shown to me. I, I'm going through the same thing. So today on my day off, after not sleeping now for, I don't know, over a week, as I'm speaking this, I'm being pierced in my left hip and I perceive the devils literally they are everywhere whenever something is making you sneeze or something is causing you pain they are it's the enemies the unclean spirits the devil of the fallen angels those are the demons the fallen spirits as the Bible says there are an abomination unto Father God Almighty or Yahuwah and his son Yahshua who is the true living word 